Hello and welcome to the third week of this magical tour of Norway. Today I am in Kristiansund. This week I'm playing Kristiansund, Molde, Olesund, Bergen and Furda. Uh, I landed about two hours ago and I did an interview with, I went straight to the newspaper and did an interview with the local newspaper, Tidens Krav, and uh, an interview with the local radio station, Radio Kristiansund, uh, with Atla. It's about 3.30 and this is the beautiful harbour here. Uh, there's uh, about 23,000 people that live here and the temperature is just so much different. It's, uh, it's more of an English temperature really, it's windy and cold, whereas up north it's just dry and fucking Baltic. Um, so yeah, I've got one night here in Kristiansund and then I'm off to Molde. Uh, I've had a quick look around, I checked into my hotel and it's, uh, it's, all, it's all okay. And I'm just going to get some food before I play. So I hope you enjoy this third week. So I am in Radio Kristiansund and uh, we're just about to um, do a little interview with Atla here and uh, here's all the equipment gonna try and obviously try and get him to play one of my tunes of course <laughs> and uh, I got a couple of hours it's 2.30 and then I got the show at 5 so yeah just an interview with uh, the newspaper here Tidenskrav so yeah friendly people Hello, uh, very nice to be here. Yeah. Uh, why are you here? Well, I'm touring the whole of Norway. Uh, I'm uh, doing a promotional tour for my CD uh, with Lenavé, the clothes shop Lenavé. They are giving away 20,000 copies of my album and uh, to all their customers for free. So I'm touring the whole of Norway. I started in Schöckenes a couple of weeks ago and uh, yeah, now I'm in Kristiansund. Mm. You're going to play uh, at uh, Lenavé? 17 hours yeah uh, what will people be hearing great music hopefully <laughs> uh, well they can come along and hear some acoustic music uh, some songs off the album and uh, and also get a free CD so uh, they're health gratis uh, you spent uh, up till uh, up to two million kroner yeah. on uh, this uh, album and you're giving it away for free yeah I have to ask you again why now oh, that's a man who loves what he does for a living it's late in the evening and he's still painting. He's obviously a painter. He's away painting. That's what I like, man. That's really cool. So, uh, it's, um, it's good night, Christiansen. And uh, I'm after Mulder tomorrow, tomorrow morning early. I was, uh, I was just watching um, the video of uh, the radio interview I did this morning. And um, it's funny because when when you do these interviews, they they tend to ask you the same questions, you know. And um, and one of the questions that always comes up is where I'm from in England. And uh, I always say, you know, I'm from Birmingham. That's north of London. But just once, I'd like <laughs> just once live on radio, I'd like to say, what oh, it's up from Birmingham. That little boat is bringing people from the islands around here. A lot of people live on outside of Kristiansund and they live on the islands and they come to work in Kristiansund obviously because it's the only place probably to work. Well, I've heard there's some shopping centres on the islands but yeah, this is probably people coming to work. Well, it's uh, day two now. Um, day two, week three. And I'm on a bus um, going from uh, Kristiansund to Molde and uh, I'm really excited about this journey because uh, I've been up this area before the west coast of Norway is it's just absolutely amazing um, it's where most tourists come I would imagine um, and I've been up this area twice before I've been to Strin, uh snowboarding in Strin. Uh, it's, a, it's a fantastic place, you can go snowboarding in the summer. So I've been for two summers now in Strin and it's just the land of waterfalls and you can kind of see a little bit of what I mean here. Everywhere you go there's just water falling off the rocks. We might see more of it uh, on the way to Molde but uh, I'm really excited about this journey because it's, uh, it it's amazing up here, you know. So i got a crazy day today, I have to play um, a show in Molde. And then I have to, I've got half an hour to pack down my stuff and get on another bus to Olesund. 
So, and then in all of Sunday, I've got two shows, a radio interview, and hopefully uh, do something in the paper tomorrow in all of Sunday. Um, so, yeah, so this is day two. Speak to me once, just one more time. Won't you lay down for me on your side? Singing to my ear again oh. Cause the boys at twilight Sing songs they remember And the boys at twilight Sing songs they can't forget So now I'm in Mulder and uh, we've got a really tight schedule. Uh, I've got an hour to find the place to set up and I've got to do a quick show in Mulder and then I've got to get back on that bus to Olesund. So uh, it's pretty hectic, hectic. I've got to try and find a taxi now. So we'll see, <laughs> see if I manage to make it. Well, this is a real result, I have to say. I've just done my show in uh, in Molde, and uh, I'm going to Olesund, and I had no idea, but I had to get this ferry to go to Olesund, and it is fucking spectacular. Look at this. This has to be one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. <laughs> it is the land of the fjords here, that is for sure. Here I am in Olesund, and uh, I asked for a single room, and somehow I've ended up with a triple room. <laughs> anyway, I've done my first gig in Olesund, and uh, it's been a hectic day, folks. Oh my god, it's been hectic. I've been traveling since 11 o'clock this morning and it's about 8 o'clock in the evening now. Uh, and the only time that I haven't been traveling, which was for two hours, uh, I was gigging. So uh, it's been hectic, 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 but it's all good. Doing a radio interview tomorrow and uh, it's all fantastic. Three beds. The only thing missing is a couple of groupies. Oops. Hello. It's the morning in Olesa. And, uh, just off to do <coughs> a little radio interview with Radi Olasan and uh, yeah, a little five minute interview with him. Let's go. So here I am with Stian, just about to play. Hey man. Hello. Hello. Are you nervous? I'm always nervous. You are? <laughs> well, that's, that's good for you. Okay? That's good and that's healthy. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So we're just about to play. One, uh, one minute. One minute to stand by. One minute stand by. <laughs> <laughs> Ja, den engelska artisten Jack Rubinacci är ute på en landsomfattande turné runt omkring i Norge och den nya platta Heart and Mind släppas på en lite speciell måte. Welcome Jack Rubinacci. Hello Stian, very nice to be here, thank you. S uh, your debut album is out these days and this uh, happens uh, in a very special way. Yeah, it does. Tell us all well, about it. Well, <laughs> well it's... Um First off, I'd like to say, wow, it's beautiful here in Oxford. <laughs> it's my first time here and I've been walking around this morning. It's absolutely stunning. Um, the first, it's my first album and we're basically giving it away. Uh, first off, we gave it away on the internet uh, as a free download and that's what we're still doing. It's still free to download off my website. Mm -hmm. um, we've had 5,000 downloads so far, which is pretty cool. We had one guy in Iran actually download it. I have no idea how someone in Iran <laughs> finds out. But tell me, you spent two years and, and two million krona and yeah. then give it away for free. Yeah. Why? Well, it's madness, right? It's madness. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think the music industry is changing, and um, because it's my first album, I want to um, I want to introduce myself to as many people as I can. So this is just it's a promotion, saying here's a new guy, um, and uh, have a listen to the album. And yeah. If you like it, come along to the show. And if you like it, like the show, come along and buy the next album. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm off to do my two shows in Olesen now. I don't know how much longer I can carry this shit around. I'm carrying 
carrying about 40 kilos. And uh, with this as well. And it's nothing, there is nothing glamorous about carrying 40 kilos around town. My time in Olesund is up. Um, I'm leaving tomorrow morning for Bergen. Uh, I'm not quite sure what time I'll leave, but uh, yeah, sometime tomorrow morning. Bergen has been beautiful, uh, Olesund has been beautiful. Um, it, it's quite a strange town because when you walk through these streets, you you get the feeling of a quiet, you know, cozy town, but then as soon as you look to the right, you have these huge mountains and uh, <clears throat> they're just spectacular and, you know, they just remind you that you are in the middle of a fjord. Hello, good morning. Um, I'm still in Olesund, I'm just about to get a flight to um, Bergen. Uh, it's an hour flight to Bergen from Olesund. i got to get a bus in 20 minutes. And uh, yeah, feeling good. I'm trying to muster up some energy. <laughs> I'm fucking knackered. <coughs> But um, looking forward to seeing Bergen. Uh, apparently, it's really beautiful. So uh, two shows there today should be good. So let's get to Bergen. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I'll pick you up. Uh, yeah. And your number was um, two o six. Did you use anything from the minimum? Nope. So I'm in Bergen and I'm buzzing. Um, Bergen is probably the second most famous city in Norway after Oslo. It's famous for a couple of reasons. One, because it's extremely beautiful. Two, because it's the home of my keyboard player, <laughs> Torbjörn Kvama. Mr. T, if you're watching this, I'm in your backyard, mate. And three, because of the rain. It's surrounded by mountains, so it gets a lot of rain clouds. They have a crazy statistic. I think it rains here something like 364 days a year or something. <laughs> So I'm in Bergen, I've only got an hour and a half before my show though, so I've got to find my hotel and go straight to the show, which is a bit shit because I was hoping to have a look around, but hopefully I'll get to see some of it tonight because I've got two shows, one after the other. This is funny, I'm actually right outside, purely by accident, Bergen's Tidener, which is the newspaper around here, and they gave me the worst review I've ever had in my life. They said my music was uh, basically a pile of shit, and the only thing I could do with it was go into a rom-com with it, so that's quite funny, it's Bergen's Tidener over there. Purely by accident. <laughs> I feel a bit self-conscious being around this area actually because uh, I really did get a shit review and uh, the radio stations around here just aren't interested in playing my music so I feel a little bit self-conscious playing this city. Uh, especially after getting such a bad review from that paper. <laughs> but you know, I've had mostly good reviews so fuck them. Just found out my hotel room is uh, close by so I've come here. It's not a bad little hotel. Um, but having slight suitcase problem. This is all the equipment that I'm carrying around. This is why it's so heavy. I'm carrying around a jam man and a Digitech jam man and a Digitech vocalizer and all various bits of bobs, um, a microphone stand, microphones, just the whole thing. And that's the amplifier over there with my guitar. It all weighs about 40 kilos, which is difficult carrying around. But the, uh, the thing is, is that the suitcase is slowly falling apart. It's getting battered by, I don't know, I've been on something like 19 aeroplanes in the past three weeks. So, uh, it's taken a good beating and just now, I don't know, it's taken a good beating in Bergen, that's for sure. <laughs> so this is downtown Bergen. And uh, it has a real urban kind of funky vibe to it. I don't know, you just get the sense that these guys know that Bergen's a cool city. Um, a lot of great musicians come from Bergen. Sandra Lurcher and I can't think of anyone else now. I actually saw Sandra Lurcher at the airport going to Bergen on the way to uh, when I was flying to Kristiansand. So it's a cool place. Uh, I have no idea where I am. All I know is that I'm going to get a bus from here to where I'm supposed to play. I'm on a ferry. Uh, I'm on a bus. I'm on this bus I'm on the way to Furda, and we've had to get this ferry. And it's absolutely just yeah. Have a look. I think the west of Norway has to be the most beautiful place I've ever been to. I'm absolutely in pieces. I've had, I've had about four hours sleep. Seriously. 
no more than four hours sleep and uh, I'm in bits in Bergen they covered the story uh, they, they came to the show yesterday it's me in the paper well um, the first part of the tour is now finished and uh, I'm back home this is my home uh, here in Drammen and uh, well I got back from Bergen last night and uh, Bergen was uh, an amazing experience really enjoyed it and um, I've got nine weeks off now uh, the tour starts up again in the uh, middle of February so uh, I hope you enjoyed the first part of the tour and I uh, wanted to wish you all a Merry Christmas and maybe see you in February and uh, this is beautiful Draman See ya.